Hey guys, what's going on? It's Reverse here, and today we're going to be showing you how to use a Rock Band 4 Xbox One guitar on PC so that you can use it for Clone Hero or whatever else. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is download Rock Band 4 Instrument Mapper, which I will have a link for in the description. I already have it downloaded and installed, so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, the other things that you're going to need as well are Windows PCAP and uh, Vigum Bus, or VJoy, but in this case we're going to use the Vigum Bus, it's easier. So download and install Windows PCAP, I already have it, so again I'm not going to worry about that, and download and install the Vigum Bus setup. Again, I already have it, so I'm not going to download it again. There's no setup for those programs at all, you just need to download and install them. Uh, Again, we've already downloaded this, so it's easier for us. We don't need to worry about it. If you download VJoy, these are all the options you need to follow. So I would suggest just downloading Vigum Bus. You don't need to do anything else. Uh, if you're using a J uh, Jaguar guitar, there's other things you need to do. So you'll have to follow those instructions there. All right, so we're now going to open up our Rock Band 4 instrument mapper. If your Xbox One wireless receiver is not auto-detected, as you do still need an Xbox One wireless receiver, uh, you can click on Enabled and click on Auto-Detect, and it should auto-detect your Xbox One wireless receiver. And then on Controller Emulation Type, you want to select Vigum Bus. And then you just click on Start. Now, for some people's guitars, they won't auto-recognize on your device. Sometimes the guitar will turn on and then turn off right away. So the way to fix that is you go in here to Bluetooth and other devices, click on add Bluetooth to device or other device and everything else and then turn on your guitar. Now do not click on the start button with your guitar on. Make sure your guitar is off when you click on this start button. Now I don't know if you guys heard that noise but if you did you can see that my guitar got noticed because I've already gone through this step here. But when something pops up on this screen, you just click on that and your guitar should stay on. And once you're done that, guys, you're good to go. You can just open up Clone Hero. Make sure you keep the Rock Band 4 Instrument Mapper program open. We'll give this just a second to load. And then you press the space bar. And you should have everything already mapped and you shouldn't have to do anything else. But if you do, you can just click on each one and replace it all yourself. It's that simple guys i hope it works for you if not uh feel free to drop some questions and uh yeah good luck